So a lot of you guys always ask like, where did I learn? How did I learn? But this is uh, Red Stewart Airfield in Waynesville, Ohio. This is where I learned and this is where you guys should learn. You learn how to fly tail wheel airplanes, tail draggers, seated pants flying. And if you guys want to catch a book, it's called Moondog, The Academy of the Air and Other Disasters. If you read that book, this will set the tone of what this airport is. This is a family owned, family operated, great place. Uh, in 1993, I soloed, and uh, I soloed in J3 Cub, which is this one right here, 98432. This is the in-number aircraft that I flew. I had about seven, a little over seven hours before I soloed this airplane, and this is what it looked like after the solo. <laughs> <laughs> no, a couple years after, actually. But uh, anyway, they're restoring it. Uh, you guys can see it. They're going to be covering Kathy. Uh, the wife here, she is like a professional expert aircraft cover. Now, you come over here to the right. This is what I got my license in. It doesn't have an engine on it right now, but 60338 is what I got my license. This is a Cessna 150, and it has not changed at all. Has the same paint job on it, looks the same, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So I think when I was learning how to fly here, it was like 60 some dollars an hour. It was, it was inexpensive, but I'm not sure what it goes for now. But anyway, it's kind of cool. There's my first airplane I ever flew and soloed. And then I got my private pilot license in this airplane also. And let's walk back here and take a look in uh, where they uh, cover and paint the airplanes. So this is what it looks like before they're done. They start all this fabric, this is sinkonite. And you guys can, it's like a polyester. It's really like your shirt. But uh, let's see here. Oh, they already put this to silver. So what's, once they cover an airplane like this and then they put silver on it and that's the UV protection. And then they'll put the other, the collar on it, the, which is a butyrate dope also, but uh, sun really kills this fabric, so they put this silver on it, then whatever else after, it'd be about, what, 15, 20 coats of dope on it when it's all said and done. Pretty cool stuff. Yep. This is really uh, grassroots flying. What is this stabilizer to? <laughs> nah, this is a pit swing. Look how little this thing is. <laughs> I can, this is a, what, S1 or S2? It's for this plane. Really? Yeah. This is S2. Yep. Wow! No had way. To, Cub didn't like the spars. They had, he there were some cracks in them. Okay. So he had them rebuilt. We came in over the power lines. There was another hangar out here. We swung right around that hangar, landed. <laughs> the stem came off. It, it, the valve came loose, and it dropped in the cylinder, and it broke this off. The stem fell in, and it jammed the stem through the top, the, out through the cylinder, and then it came back in, and the stem went out the exhaust. And this was in here just banging away. 
<laughs> so that's why you, that's why you stay close to the airport. We'll turn this around, Jamie. I can't thank you enough for coming out here. It's my pleasure. So always fun to fly. Yeah, if you guys you know want to come and fly at Red Stewart, it's Red Stewart Air Airfield, Waynesville, Ohio. Back when I was learning, it was called Waynesville Airport. But uh, Red Stewart bought this in 1946. It's Waynesville International now. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we got an international in here. Right. So uh, come and see Jamie. And there's Joe. I don't know any other instructors. Tommy, Dave, Emerson, and Al. Yeah. So we got a few of them. You guys got some history here, so. Yep. All right, let's, uh, let's get some B-roll. And until then, blue skies. <laughs>